blood types. The four different blood types are A, blood type B, blood type AB, and lastly, blood type O. Just like all of your traits, you inherit them from your mother and your father. Blood type is no different. You could inherit an A from your mother and an A from your father. In this case, your genes for your blood type would be AA, and you would have blood type A. Another combination of blood types could be a capital A from your mother and a lowercase blood type O from your father. In this case, you would have blood type A. O is a recessive blood type and only shows up when you have a pair. Another example of blood type continues with your inheritance from your mother and your father. For example, you could inherit a B from both your mother and father. In this case, you would inherit blood type B. Another example of blood type could be a B from your mother and an O from your father. But remember, O is the recessive blood type. In this case, you would be blood type B. B is a dominant blood type. Another example is called codominance. In this case, you could inherit an A from your mother and a B from your father. Your blood type would be considered to be AB. This is because both blood type A and blood type B are dominant. Another example could be a B from your mother and an A from your father. Your blood type would still be considered AB as the order doesn't matter. The last type of blood that you can inherit would be a recessive O from your mother and a recessive O from your father. In this case, your genes for blood type would be OO and you would have blood type O. Predicting what offspring will inherit from their parents can be done through the use of a Punnett square. Let's look at an example of a Punnett square. In this case, our father's genes are AO and our mother's genes are AB. Remember, when you fill out a Punnett square, each square represents a possible gene combination that you can inherit. So the four possibilities could be A, A. Another possibility would be blood type A, B with a dominant gene A and a dominant gene B. Another type would be blood type A with a dominant A paired with a recessive O. And the last possibility would be blood type B, a dominant B with a recessive O. Take a look at the chart to review the determination of blood types. <laughs>